This is truth music, the truth movement. Truth movement. Yo, we've been a part of the biggest conspiracy the planet has ever known, man. You ever wonder why everybody seems to hate us? Everywhere we go, seems like everybody hates us. The world is against us. We gonna bring y'all some light, you know what I mean? And then type in African American and see if that title is in there. That title ain't gonna be in there. So if that title ain't in there, then how could you rightfully say that that's who you is according to the Bible? You can walk past. So according to the Bible, we're the Israelites. Because our parents, they spoke Hebrew when they came over here. Slavery is listed in the Bible. We can go in there and show you. So those same people that was put into slavery that spoke Hebrew, they never stopped descending. And every time they would descend, every time the men would descend and have a seat, every time they would descend and have a seat, you know what would end up happening? They would have another Israelite. So check this out. Get Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse, I mean 28 verse 68. Check this out, sister. I'm going to show you in 30 seconds some history according to the Bible. Read. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So Moses spoke this to a people. Moses spoke this to a people. He said the Lord would bring you into Egypt. Egypt was a house of bondage. Just like one of the penitentiaries named, uh, let's just say if that's an Al Gore or behind the wall or something like that. If somebody told your brother that he would do that, that he would go in there, that you, he would know where he would be going. So it says the Lord going to bring you into Egypt again. You understand? Egypt meaning the house of bondage. With what? With ships. With ships. You understand? How did the black How did the black man come to America? He came to He came in ships. So now let's see. Let's see who did come on those ships. Deuteronomy chapter twenty nine verse one. Deuteronomy twenty nine and one. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. You see that? See what the Bible calls these people? The Bible contradicts the nationality of the so-called black man today. The black man calls himself African-American. But the Bible says that these people that went back into Egypt again on ships, that they were the nation of Israel. So that's who these people that's living in North Central South America, you people that's living in the Caribbean Islands, you people that's living in California, St. Louis, Nevada, it doesn't matter wherever, Chicago, Colorado, all these people who descend from those that came on ships, you're the Israelites according to the Bible. Read it again. This brother, he gonna bring it out. Tell him where you at. This is Deuteronomy 29 and 1. These are the words of the com a covenant. These are the words of the, of the agreement, of the covenant, read. Which the Lord commanded Moses. Which the Lord commanded Moses, read. To make with the children of Israel. You see that? To make with the children of Israel. So why do we have to come out here and say things like this? Because our people, as it is today, they don't really know that they're the children of Israel. Now we're going to bag up one verse. We're going to bag up one verse. Read the verse before that. Read. Deuteronomy 29, 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. Who do we know? Let's get the definition of Egypt. Just bear with me. This history. There ain't nothing wrong with this. This is, this is love, this history right here. This is the definition of Egypt. Read. Exodus 20 and 1. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You see that? So when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, God called Egypt the house of bondage. So now when we go to do the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the 68th verse, the Lord said that he was going to take the people of Israel and put them into the house of bondage again. But this time, instead of them walking back and forth, you know what? You know how they would get there? They would get there by the way of ships. All right? Finish the fix it, 28. 68, I'm sorry. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt, thou shalt see it no more again. You see that? So the Lord said, he spake unto, he spake unto our foreparents, and he said that they wasn't going to see something again. Who out here guess knows what they didn't see again? They, they never saw their homeland again. You understand? Why is that? Because they would be serving a whole bondage with rigor. You understand where the Lord would where the Lord would scatter them and bring them. 
He said they would never, ever, ever see it again. It doesn't matter, no matter what you do as a nation, you're not gonna, you're not gonna go back to your land of Israel. As a nation, as a people, you're not gonna go back to your homeland. Read it again. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see it no more again. You understand? Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. See, the Lord said that the children of Israel be sold to what? To enemies. Read. For bondmen and bondwomen. For bondmen and bondwomen. That means slaves. The Lord said that this would fall upon the children of Israel for breaking God's commandments. Who, who, who can we hold responsible for that? We can hold nobody responsible for this thing but ourselves. Read it again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies, for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy thee. So it's, this is saying that there's nobody that's going to be capable of redeeming us. So we have watched and watched and waited and waited. We have raised up all different sorts and types of leaders. You understand? Throughout the 60s and the 70s. The 80s, you understand, to try and redeem the people, to try to redeem black America, try to redeem African Americans. But see, we're going about it the wrong way because our Redeemer is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But in the Hebrew, his name is Yehoshai. You understand? The black savior of Israel, according to the Bible, the savior of Israel is supposed to save the people from their sins. And him, that's who we to look for. But that's not who's being preached to us. Who's being preached to us is a European idol. Jesus Christ, according to the Bible, is a man of color. That's the only man that can save the black that's man. That's right. Bring it up. That's the only one that can save a black man. So if we want to be saved from our oppression, first we have to identify with who we are. Let's get some of the identities that will fall upon those people. Let's get the, 20, the 64 verse, Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 64. We still in the same book. Deuteronomy 24 and 60, 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. All right, so you can go through all the nations and, and through all the nations you're gonna realize that this didn't happen to nobody but who? But the people that live in North Central South America and the Caribbean side of the sea. The Lord said that he would scatter these people among all nations. You understand? So the slave boats, they would go from Central to South to North to West to East America through the Americans and through all the isles of the sea and they would drop off all the different tribes of Israel. How y'all family doing? All right, y'all got time to take a flyer? All right. So they would drop off, they would drop off slaves throughout the Americas, what they renamed the Americas, you understand? And, and in those places, our people would serve captivity. They would serve a hard bondage, a slavery. For, for centuries, would they serve for free? Read it again. Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. From one end of the earth even unto the other. So here, here's one trick, because our people think that, that they are the what? That they are the minorities. But the truth is, all 12 tribes together, you outnumber everybody on the earth. You understand? We, we, we outnumber everybody on the earth. We are the majority, but, we, but through division, we've been divided and we've been conquered. You understand? You got blacks, you got Latinos, you got Native Americans, all of those are Israelites. A lot of times you people, you say, well, I got Indian in me. I got Indian in me, because some of your parents dealt with, mixed with the other tribes, but they still Israelites. All, all 12 tribes together make one nation of people. That's right. And, 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 and in one, and, and it, with that being said, you are a bigger nation than the European nations. You are a bigger nation than the Asian nations. You are a bigger nation than the Arab nations. You are bigger, you're a bigger nation than all of those people put together. You understand? So through Christ, we are gonna come back together and through Christ, we are gonna repent. But what has to happen first? We've gotta, we, it's an identity crisis. We gotta come out here and we gotta tell you people who you are according to the Bible. 
You understand? Let's get another one. Get 32. Deuteronomy 28, verse 32. If these things help, these things help you identify, these things help you identify with who you are. Leviticus 20, 27. That's right. Bring it out. Whoever strikes ahead, his brother, brother or mother shall be put this to death. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 32. 21, 15. If a man commits adultery with another man's wife. Okay. That, what you said, what you, what you might, you say, you're reading, the, you're reading the law and that's right. But at the same time, Leviticus the scriptures say do things in order. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's not look like we in confusion. We out here trying to further and help our people with all due respect. All right, you got it? Whoever sacrifices to any God except the Lord alone shall be doomed. First Corinthians. Exodus. Chapter 14 and verse 40. So we're, we're not trying to have a competition. We're trying to correct this thing. Read. They entered into a let all things be done decently and in order. So the Lord said, let all things be done. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, that all things be done decent and in order, right? Whether man or woman, Chronicles 15. Listen, Esau, Esau. Listen to this. Listen to this. I, you read the law, and that's right. The law, the law is right. Listen to this. Read. First Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. You see that? That's the law. So, so we got an order already. So we come out here to teach our people the laws of the Most High, and it's done decently in order. All right. So if, if you want to say what you're saying, we're not trying to cramp. We're not trying to cramp what you're doing. Don't cramp. Don't cramp what we're doing. So let let the word go out with free course. Get Galatians, brother, the first chapter. The wrong side of the Bible. All right. Galatians chapter, Galatians chapter one. Bring it out, brother. Cause this word of the Most High, it's gotta go out. Brother, Galatians chapter one. from this present evil world. So now, let me ask you a question. Esau, come here, let me ask you a question. What's up, man? All right. <laughs> Wait, let, let's read this. Out. My name's Mahara, nice to meet you. All right, all right, so now I'm Sham. So now listen, a, a, according to the Bible, yeah. not according to a like, theological school or how we feel emotionally, according to the Bible, the Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. So now, Paul the Apostle wrote and sent this to the church at Galatia. Listen to what he said. Read. Galatians chapter 1, verse 4. Who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father. Right. So, so this is Christ. You understand? So Christ gave himself to be delivered from the present evil world. So now, wasn't the Israelites at that time, what, didn't they deal evil too? Didn't they deal in wickedness? That's a yes or no. Ye yes or no. So now, was the, was the Romans in rule in Judea at that time? Didn't they deal wickedly too? Because they brought off bad judgment by allowing him to be crucified. Because when, when he went to Pontius Pilate, he had the power to save him or not, right? So that's yes or no. Okay, I'll answer your question. Okay. I'm going to put it like this. How would we know that Jesus existed other than that book right there? We don't have that much proof. We don't have proof that Muhammad existed. We don't have proof that Jesus existed. We didn't have proof that Abraham existed. Well, actually, you, actually, you don't need proof. We need proof. Get this. Psalms 147, verse 19 and 20. Cause, cause the, the proof, the proof ain't even for you to even uh, elaborate on. This ain't, this is, this is of no importance to you. As far as the Bible is concerned, what you should do is go rule. 
because you in rulership and power right now. So you, you should enjoy it because someday it's gonna come falling down, it's gonna come to an end. So check this out though, this is the reason why, and it ain't personal, it's biblical. This is the reason why you shouldn't worry yourself with it, read. Psalms 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the brother of Esau. So according to Genesis 25, you descend from Edomites. So he showed his word unto Jacob, read. His statues and his judgments unto Israel. His statues meaning the Bible, the law and the testimony, the Torah, which is the first five books of Moses, the Tanakh, which is the law and the prophets. Unto who? Israel. Unto the Israelites, unto Jacob's tribes, unto his children. I'll read. Verse 20, he have not dealt so. Listen to this real closely. This ain't no disrespect. This is this is out of love. Do everybody out here get edified? He have what? He have not dealt so. He have not dealt so what? With any nation. With any nation. So if I found myself that I'm not responsible for something, then you know what? I wouldn't even I wouldn't even worry about it. So at, at this at this point right now. I, I think the nations, they should just rule. Do what do what they do. And the children of Israel need to do what they need to do. They need to hear this Bible. I want you to go to Isaiah 58 and verse 1. Okay, can I say something? Hold up. After I read this, then it's your turn to be brother. It's your thing you can say something. brothers and sisters. This right. word is for y'all. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Hey, show, hold up, brother. He be edified. Because you're going to learn something. Read. Isaiah 58 and 1. More, means, more just means black. So we, 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 we're black too. I'm not a Hebrew Israelite. Yeah, I mean, by descent, you are. Read. Cry aloud. Listen to this. Cry aloud. So he told this to the prophet Isaiah. He said, cry, cry aloud. Read. Spare not. He said, don't with hope. And that's what we do. We come out here and we would not withhold the truth about this Bible. This Bible has been sugar-coated long enough. It's time out for that. Why? Because God is going to send Jesus to Christ. You know the one that the Bible talks about? The one with his woolly hair and his eyes like a flame of fire, meaning they red, and his skin was bronze as it burned in a furnace. Now that Jesus Christ, he's on the way. So now it's high time for the servants of the Most High God to come out and cry out and don't withhold the truth about the Bible. Because the truth about the Bible has been perpetrated for centuries. And, and the people have been in the sleep and they've been going along with the traditions of men. For so long, God said, it's time out for that. So he said, cry loud and spare not, read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. He said, lift it up and blow it. Up very very loud but see out of out of respect and not want to invade on anybody's personal lifestyle or um or they own leisure or what they doing we have a with, with a minimum we ain't gonna just Is that why you have a microphone and amplifier right there? <laughs> that's right so so that the so that the people there can listen they can hear it without me being without them have to approach me or me have to approach can you them guys hear me? you understand so it you says me, right? it says lift up thy voice like a trumpet all right so I, I choose this. Now you can you can choose to do with your, but I'm gonna choose to do with this Bible. Read. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You said that. And you show my people. Stop this. Hold up. And show my people. Who is the people of God? You said that the Bible has been sugarcoated for long enough, right? The teachings so, of it. Listen to this. Let why, me finish wait, 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 the precept before already, you rebut. You already said that you were gonna. After one saying, you. you I said after this. I said after this. Okay, so let me speak. Uh, no, so, no. After this. See, that's the thing. I, that's the problem. I, I think that. So, so, like. Um, Caucasian and European America has used to controlling, they used to controlling everything that they get involved in, that you still think that life is like that. I'm so sorry, you come up, you come up here in the Arabs, you ain't on it too. You come up here and you're trying to control a situation that I obviously have control in. Because this is my own, this is my zone. Me and these brothers, we come up here to teach the word of the most high. We're not bothering you, step to us. So I think out of respect, if I ask you to wait your turn, then you probably will wait your turn and not try and control things like you're used to doing. But not today, but not with me. You're not Read. reading the right Bible. That's the King James Version. This is the bird. What, what matter does the truth? We just already read. We just already read. Leviticus. Listen, we have already read that this has nothing to do with you. He have not dealt so with any other nation. Read Leviticus. As a matter of fact, God said he's coming for you. Read. Tell, tell him how if and show my people head, their transgression. God, God said, God said, and show my people. What? Show my people what? 
their transgression. So actually, you're coming in the spirit of Satan because we come out here to show our people their transgressions, but now we gotta contend with you and and, pro and just tell you that this ain't got nothing to do with you to leave us be, let us teach our people. We wanna teach that sister, those brothers and sisters down there, that God chose them above all people on the face of the earth. And, right. and all they need to do is repent, believe in Christ, and let their faith bring forth works enough so that they can receive immortality and they can get the gift of the Holy Ghost. And the most high through Christ can save and deliver right. them. See, from get your will. What if people don't want to be taught? You're impending on their lives nope. after right now. Nope. You just said that you don't want to. Job chapter three, and I'm not. I'm not. And you're Job chapter three. To a minimum, but you, you're over here. You have a microphone and an amplifier. Job chapter three, and verse one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read to the people that can hear about you, since you say you're an Arab. I'm not okay. I am an Arab, but I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Satan. I don't believe in anybody. There is nothing. We'll all die, and there. there then is you no shouldn't be here contending help. with us, oh, since you don't believe. <laughs> This is for the believers. You don't love God. Joel chapter three and, and verse one. And, and, and see, we don't we don't mean I don't mean no harm. I, just, I mean edification to those that were here. Those that are black and Hispanic and Native American Indian descent. Those that are Negro descent. Those that were affected by the safe by the slave trade. You have rep you have reformations coming. Ain't that ain't that's how you say it? reformations? You got reformations coming from God Almighty. God did not forget about us. In his fury and his wrath did he punish us. Did he put the nations above us and let them oppress us? But in his mercy, God said he's gonna resurrect us into eternal life on the earth. On the earth. And on this earth, we ain't dying no more. We ain't gonna never die. We're gonna live forever. And you know what else gonna happen? And you know what else gonna we gonna rule forever. And we're going to rule the nations with a rod of iron under Jesus Christ of Nazareth, according to this Bible, the black Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Read them. So you're saying you're going to torture everybody under your rule? Joel chapter 3, verse 1. Check this out. Let me show you what, what you believe in done to us. Read. Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah. Oh, you see that? So people, don't, you don't ex, you don't expect these people to come from their captivity. You want them to keep working, sister. You got a job. This, these people, they want you to keep working. Listen to this. Just stop for two seconds. Read it. Yeah, listen I didn't to say this. Anything Read about these people. Don't listen. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. God said the captivity is going to be over. So then, who's going to work these shops? You're it ain't going to be Judah. It ain't going to be Judah. Read. How do you know? You don't even believe in the Bible. Read. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down. You say that Israelites are the will. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right. So you've heard about World War III, right? Actually, no, I haven't because it hasn't started yet, man. No, I haven't, but this is a future prophecy about it. The Lord said that he would bring them down into what he called the valley of Jehoshaphat. But see, here's the thing. Because your foreparents and your parents today, the government, you know what they do? They play games with words and they change the labels and titles of all the lands. So when the Bible calls it Jehoshaphat, you call it something else. But God calls it Jehoshaphat. As I write, God said that that's going to be, all these nations are going to be there and they're going to war. But the Lord going to have them self-destructing for what they did to these people here. They put them into captivity. You're teaching Read it again. Hate. You're not teaching no, I'm teaching the them history. Right. I'm teaching right. them history. You guys want that ain't no hate. Pick up a history so let me ask you, Cousin. Is it is it hate? Is it hate when we get shot and we're trying to surrender? Is it hate when we're being choked? You know what I'm saying? Is it hate when we're being choked? Yes, it is. Is it hate when we're being discriminated against? Yes, it is. So now. But you're over here discriminating against us. I'm not discriminating. I'm teaching the Bible. You're Read. telling us how we're going to be under your rule. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel. And for his heritage Israel. Okay, See the big Leviticus, fight. The big Leviticus. fight is going to be about what? It's going to be about the heritage of the Lord. So listen, when World War Three break out, 
God is fighting for you. He's going to have them falling on each other, and they're going to think that it's about their sanctions and them not agreeing. But the Lord said it's because of how they dealt with you. Hey, Finally, the roosters are going to come home to roast. I'm not giving up. You man. understand? There's it's no going to be roast. To Read. Who they saying. have scattered on, among questions. the nations. Who have, no, don't don't give place to the double you, you, Who they have you scattered you amongst the nations. Who else got scattered amongst the nations? There's no other people on the earth but your great-grandparents that got scattered amongst the nations and mine. That's who this Bible is talking about. This ain't hate, this education. See, they fine as long as they teaching you Christopher Columbus and uh and and Mark Twain and all them lies. Yeah. You understand? But if you start teaching this, then I was got to be hate. This ain't hate. This show history according to the Bible. The Lord said He gonna redeem His people. Y'all are chosen people. You understand? Read. And parted my land. And parted the land. You see that? So now, what you gotta realize is well something that we forgot. We had a land. That's right, we had a land. All the black and Hispanics and Native Americans and Latino in the descent of that, that live in Americas now, you had your own land. Now you live in somebody else's house, in somebody else's land. You understand? But you did have a land. They parted their land. That's why he's com he's concerned about the name that say Israel. He's like, wait a minute, that don't that, that, that don't go with what I know. It goes with the Bible, but it don't go with what he knows. This was your land. He, he know, he don't want me to know, but I know, and I'm telling y'all, he know this was your land, the land of Israel. That's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Come on, brother, read it. Verse 3, and they have cast lots for my people. And they have cast lots for the people of the Lord. That's what the Bible says. You understand? They have cast lots for the people. How did they cast lots? Man, when they wanted the girl for this and the boy for that, you know what they would do? They would shoot dice for our people. You understand? The Lord said they have cast lots for our people. Read. And have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yeah, and what have, what, and what have ye to do with me? O Tyree and Zidane. See that? So he, le he left on this part. What have thou to do with me, O Tyree and Zidane? Those are the Africans. A lot of our people think that we Africans. We aren't the Africans. The Africans is another dark-skinned race. You're not the Africans. If you were Africans, why they never came for you? You understand? If, they, if you were Africans, why they never came from me? Why they never came for you? Okay? Good. You're an Israelite. You're a Hebrew Israelite according That's to the right. Bible. That's your nationality. Yeah. And most of you are from the tribe of Judah. See, and there ain't no nation called brown skin, little daughter of Israel. That's a positive you message. Understand? I get it. There ain't no nation called brown skin. The Bible tells you about all the nations on the face of the earth. It tells you who the Asians are. It tells you who the Arabs are. The, you know what I'm saying? The Arabs are Ishmaelites. You know what I'm saying? The Asians are Moabites and Ammonites and Amabites. The, the, you know what I'm saying? And 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 the um the black and Hispanics, you're the Israelites. And the Europeans, you're Edomites, according to the Bible. And he's struggling walking You understand? Alright, <laughs> read on. And and all the coasts of Palestine. See, here you go right here. Here your Arabs is. All the coasts of Palestine. A lot of us don't know that these these Arabs, they, ha they had hand oh, in good. on selling us. You understand? The Arabs and another dark-skinned race, the Africans, they sold the Israelites unto who? Listen to what it's going to tell you. This is, this is Joel. Tell them where you at, huh? I mean, Joel chapter 3 and verse 4. And all the coasts of Palestine, will you render me a recompense? Listen to this. Will you render me a recompense? So in other words, listen to the Bible. The Bible is trying to tell you that the Africans and the Arabs was trying to pay God back by destroying you. You know, that's just like if you if you don't like somebody and then you be Andre to their kids. You see, that's what they did. They was Andre to the Israelites. Because, because the Most High, He chose us. The God speak highly above us, even though we drug through the mud. We, they do us like that now. You understand? You drug through the mud. You look bad. You do all these, commit all these different crimes. They still hate you because this Bible prophesied something amazing for you. It prophesied eternal life. That you, and they notice that when you resurrect from the dead on the earth, 
We can read it, Matthew 5 and 5. It tells you the meek shall inherit the earth. For you, it ain't no more death. It ain't no more sickness. You're going to be immortal. Like, like a god on the earth. And But all the other nations, they're going to die. They're going to have a corruptible life. And you're going to inherit their children and their seed after them for eternal life. That's what that's what you got going. So you know what they got this thing to do now? They got the, they got this conspiracy and they got this plot to corrupt and to destroy you forever. And all different. Why you think the men are turning feminine? Yeah, yeah, every year or so, it's a, it's a different spirit. It's a, it's a different vibration. You understand that that's being introduced to who? To us. Why, why ain't they doing Chinese people like that? Hmm? Why ain't they doing Arabs like that? You don't see no you don't see no flaming Arabs. Right. Flame, flame on. Yeah, why but 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 why are you Negroes? Why you why are you blacks? Because they want to defile you. They they know that as long as they corrupt you, God his face will be turned away from you. They they know that. That's this is intent. This, man, we we sleep. We can read every book to get to be a master. We can, we can read all the books in the world to become a master, but we won't read the Bible and find out how true these things is. All right, finish, we'll finish the point you got. Will you render me a recompense? And if you, you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? You see that? So God said that the nations was rendering a recompense, at least their attempt. But he recompense upon him, but he said he was going to speedily and readily return that thing upon his head. Read. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. Right, so this is the history. You understand? This is history. This is what actually we should be listening to. You understand? We should be listening to your history. Read that part again. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their borders. So here's a question. Here's a question. Okay. Since the European sister, right there, since the European calls himself a Jew, and he say that he's Israeli, right? This Bible just said that what did it say about uh, that they sold into the Grecians? How could the how could the um, Grecians, how could um, the uh, Tyre and Sidon and all the coast of Philistine sell the tribe of Judah to the Grecians if the tribe of Judah was of um, European descent? That don't make sense right there. You understand? It's impossible for them to be like that. All right, read it again uh, to help strengthen that point. Joel 3 and verse 5 and verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. Right, you see the point I was stressing? You see the point I was stressing? Because the, um, the Tyre and Sidon and, and all the coasts of Philistine sold, the, sold Judah unto the Grecians. Two different people, but right now, now, the Grecians are claiming to be who? Judah. You understand? Because that's what Jews mean. That's what Jews, if you're saying that you're a Jew, you're saying that you're from the tribe of Judah. And it's impossible to be. Get that. It's impossible for that thing to be true. All right? Get um, Genesis 25. Genesis chapter 25 and 25. Genesis 25 and 25. And the first came out red, all over like an hairy garment, and they call his name Esau. Right, so the Bible says that there were twins in this brother's womb. This, this woman is Rebecca. All right, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. Read. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. So why do we think that there's no description of Isaac? I mean of Jacob. There's no description of Jacob because he looked like everybody else. But 
But but this first child that came out red, all over like a Harry Gorman, that had to be, he was somebody different that was in the earth, period. You understand? He was somebody different. So, and, and, and also to add to that, remember that Esau and Jacob, two different people. You understand? So Esau, according to the Bible today, would be the European nations. Jacob, according to the Bible today, all right, Israel, would be you black and Hispanics. You understand? So according to the Bible, this is your history according to the Bible, that you are the Lord's chosen people. The most I said that he have chosen you people high above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The reason why it seems it's, it, it's, it's hard to believe because sin. Like, get this. This is one reason why. Get Isaiah 59. Isaiah 59 verse 1. Isaiah 59 and 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot say, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. You see that? So even though the Lord did chose us to be high above, the Lord said that, that our sins, what is iniquities? Our sins have separated between us and our God. Like a lot of people don't know that today is the day of rest. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. And what should Israel be doing on the Sabbath day? You shouldn't be buying and selling. You understand? This out here, this is this a highway and a byway. The Lord said, go out and preach the word of the Most High. No, we should, we should not, you should not be out here buying and selling. You understand? Going to the, getting drunk and going to the shops and eating lunch out and, and your snacks and things like that. You're supposed to be preparing. You're supposed to do that. The Lord said, you got six days. The Lord said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. But see, because we break the Sabbath day, you know what else? The Most High said, his face will be turned from us. Read it again. Verse 2. But your, in, but your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you. And our sins have hid the face of God from us. Read. That he will not hear, for your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. 